Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Sean Cornelius for the astrophotographer.com. Um, today I'm going to talk about the uh, Celestron Advanced VX mount. Um, I got this mount uh, just over two weeks ago and uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit. Um, taking it out a few times and a few things uh, stood out to me. Um, it's tripod, it's very well made. Uh, sturdy, heavy duty, easily uh, locking and unlocking legs. Um, the uh, the body of the mount itself, um, it's mostly metal. It's got a few plastic caps, um, mainly the uh, back cap that screws in for the uh, puller cover. Uh, I'm not necessarily a big fan of how plastic screws into metal, um, just due to the fact that uh, the metal threads tend to eat up the plastic over time. Um, other than that, overall, very good construction. Uh, comes uh, equipped with uh, a single uh, counterweight, a able to carry a 30 pound uh, payload, um, which is most more than uh, a lot of telescopes weigh with all your equipment on it, so uh, great payload capacity. A um, couple of things. It does not come with uh, an AC adapter uh, for power purposes. It comes with a little car battery or a cigarette lighter charger. Um, so if you want to use this uh, mount at home or run it off of a, an AC power source, you have to buy uh, the Celestron AC adapter or you can go on Amazon and find one cheaper. Uh, the thing about that is, is it has to be able to hold five amps continuously. So um, I know there's a few products on Amazon, or if you just want to play it safe, you can always buy the Celestron um, wall adapter for this. Um, what I chose to do instead is I bought the Celestron power tank. Uh, this is a lithium ion version, uh, 17 and a half hours. Um, it comes with its own. Uh, charging cable and two USB ports um, for charging different accessories. Uh, the main power port on the side here which the telescope runs off of and then if you choose to go the classic uh, cigarette port lighter way it has that on the other side. Um, I've used it and I haven't had to charge it uh, since since I started using it which is a little over a week ago so that's a pro there. Um, when it comes down to the mount, uh, one of the uh, disadvantages to the way this mount works is that in order to use your puller scope to puller line, you need to rotate the declination axis 90 degrees in order for the puller scope to actually view the sky. Um, what I've done before I got a puller scope is actually I align this manually just by looking down the hole where the polar scope is supposed to be, putting Polaris in that hole, and then doing a two star line with four star calibration. At the end of that, then I use the polar line method, which I love that Celestron has, that allows me to polar line and correct the air in the mount to whichever star in the sky I chose last in my four star calibration. So um, if you can get good at that, you don't need a polar scope. Um, other than that, uh, I would recommend uh, buying a polar scope, which this mount does not come equipped with a polar scope, so that's an option you have to buy separately. Um, I got this mount through High Point Scientific, so I want to thank them for that. Um, the battery pack I got off of Amazon, uh, and the polar scope came from High Point Scientific. Um, and let's talk the tracking for a second. Tracking. Um, once I do the two star with the four star calibration in the polar line, um, I've been getting two minute subs untracked or unguided, I'm sorry, um, from this mount. So I won't, the tracking is pretty, pretty spot on. Uh, I haven't tried anything over two minutes um, because of the light pollution in my area. Uh, but uh, two minutes. I've been getting up to two minutes uh, with no uh, trailing, no streaks, no wobbles. Um, even with a slight breeze, I'm not noticing any uh, uh, distortion in my stars. So 
uh, for the price, this mount is definitely uh, worth consideration. Um, it's, you know, one of the contenders in there with the uh, the Skywatcher uh, EQR6. Um, uh, if you have this mount and you like it or you don't like it, uh, please drop your comments below as to what you like and don't like. And until next time, clear skies.